Hey guys, it's Gigi. So I think the last time I did an updated skincare routine was in the summer, and obviously my skincare routine has changed, as should everyone's, um, from summer to winter, at least some products. So I've gone through my literal entire bathroom, so I have like so many products here, so I'm just gonna get started. But you'll have to excuse my voice, I was screaming all last night, I was literally a party animal. <coughs> Literally have the grudge coming out of me. And I'm sipping on some tea here in my Madonna mug. Earl Grey tea. Whatever that is. Sounds horrible. Tastes horrible. But I gotta get better. So I'm gonna try my best not to be screaming throughout this whole video. But when I talk, I just scream. I can't help it. The first thing I really want to talk about is makeup removers. Everybody asks me, oh my god, with all the makeup that you wear. Oh my, is that glitter on your eyes? Wow, are you wearing fake eyelashes? Don't you have to put glue on those to get those on? Yeah, sweetie, you do, but with a good makeup remover, you should be able to get that off in, I'm going to say, like, 20 seconds flat. Literally, at night, when I take off my makeup, it takes, like, maximum, like, 45 seconds to a minute. People are like, oh my god, you must be scrubbing for hours. No, bitch, no scrubbing is necessary. So I have two here, but my all-time favorite makeup remover, favorite, 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 is the Bioderma, and I literally was just shaking, so there's so many bubbles, but this is the little container. Usually I get like the huge one, it's literally like this big. And typically day to day, this would just be for my eyes and my lips, just to get the color off, and then I would use something else, another product that I'm gonna show you in a minute, um, to get my face makeup off. But if I really feel like I caked on the makeup that day, then I'll use this for my whole entire face, but I'll just use more pads. This is my pride and joy in my bathroom. I love this container, isn't it so cute? It's like Egyptian or something, right? Doesn't it just scream Palestinian to you? Anyways, this is my cotton pad holder, it's glass. So it's a really glam. And this is what I use the Bioderma with, just one cotton pad for both of my eyes and just the excess I'll just take over my lips. Um, so that is my favorite makeup remover. Moving on to makeup wipes, I have two that I use. These are my good ones. Everybody knows what these look like. I mean, I don't even know what material this is. This is like plastic, it's like really loud. So when you're in the bathroom at night and someone's sleeping, you're like, they need to redo this packaging because it is so loud. I've so many times I've been like, for my makeup wipes, what what kind of world is that? I have some cheap ones here. I don't even know what brand these are. Equate, Equate Beauty, Original Clean Wet Cleansing Towelettes. They look like this. I was in New York recently, so I just stopped by. Was it Target or Walmart? I don't even know. They come in a package. These have 60 towelettes. I think that this was like literally like probably under $5. And just a little trick, if you buy makeup wipes, do not sit them face up. When you store them, sit them upside down so all of the fluid goes to the bottom. And I find that the MAC ones, I've always done this for literally years. I feel like the MAC ones don't have as much moisture in the package. So even if you do them upside down, they're not going to come out soaking wet. But this one, it literally comes out wet and you can like do your whole face. It's so much nicer. So. Yeah, I don't really have a favorite. Oh, it sounded violent. And moving on, I seriously do not remember the last time I had a toner and actually stuck true to it and started using it. I've had toners obviously sitting in my bathroom, but when I'm actually doing my skincare routine, I'm like, meh, I don't know. I feel like they don't really work and they dry your skin out a lot of the time, but this one is by PMD. <laughs> And it's a calming neutralizing toner, which is amazing. And look at the packaging. It just looks like kind of like a medical product, you dig? This is actually the same product that has the personal microdermabrasion device, um, which a few months ago I did a video showing that. It's basically an at-home microdermabrasion. As you can see here, I'm giving a little demo. It kind of sucks the skin. Did you see how it's getting a little white because it's pulling on it? And it leaves your skin so polished and so amazing. And it does get easier to use. I know it might look a little bit intimidating doing it, but it's like riding a bike that you do it one, two, three times, and then it comes back to you. It's like second nature to me now. And if you have any acne scarring like I did, it fades those areas amazingly. You'll have the smoothest, most clear skin without any makeup on in a few months. I love putting this toner on after. I don't know, for all my white sisters out there, praise Jesus because this toner will calm you. I mean, I'm not really saying that I have rosacea, you dig, but my face does get very, very, very red and irritated right after I exfoliate it. My skin is so sensitive. Every single time I go to a place to get my eyebrows done that I haven't been before, they're like, oh my god, are you, are you reacting to the wax? Is the wax too hot for you? I'm like, no, my skin is just really sensitive because it literally looks like I'm like a burn victim. Like literally all here is red wherever they put wax, but it's just because my skin is sensitive. I'm like, no, feels good. Don't worry about it, girl. This literally neutralizes your skin to the point of it looking like you like freshly powdered your face. It's beautiful. I literally look like I'm in a skincare commercial. Like, <sighs> good morning.
And obviously I just apply the toner with one of these. One side is smooth, one side is kind of rough. I use this side if I'm taking off nail polish. Like this glitter, it's gonna be very hard to get off, but if I just do my toner, I'll be using the smooth side. So if you guys are interested in the toner I just talked about or the PMD device, definitely click the link in the description and you can get 25% off of both of those. That's that. So moving down the line, I have talked about this product, I think in a monthly favorites I talked about it, but literally it is my staple cleanser now. I used to exfoliate like literally every day in the shower, I'd be like scrubbing my face, like I need my makeup to look so smooth, like going crazy, but honestly with a good cleanser, you don't really need to be exfoliating and doing that to your skin every day, especially if you have really, really sensitive skin like I do. So this is my Bioderma Purifying and Foaming Gel, and a little goes a long way with this product. It's blue and kind of like gel-like, um, but it, it totally turns to like a foamy milk on your face, which I love. It gets all your makeup off. It kind of leaves your face that squeaky clean, so literally you just feel like literally everything is off, and then with the toner, it's amazing. Your skin is literally in the best condition ever. I actually have two. I keep one in my shower and then one by my sink because you don't want to be like cross-contaminating bacteria. Yeah, I'm always trying out new exfoliators. I know in my, my summer skincare, I think there was an exfoliator there, but that didn't really last very long. This one is just my tried and true. Like, I will always go back to this if anyone else has it. Like, if I'm showering at someone's house and they have it, I'll be like, yoink, because I know I love this exfoliator. Nothing will ever change. It leaves your skin so smooth. This is a product definitely I use in between using my PMD because that's a very, very harsh treatment. You shouldn't be doing that every week, or at least... I couldn't handle it every week. Oh, you guys all know what this looks like. This is the St. Ives Blemish and Blackhead Clearing. Personally, it doesn't matter to me which kind I get. I know when I go to, like, the drugstore, there's so many, like, on the shelf, but I just go to this one because, I mean, it probably has, like, the largest chunks in it or whatever because you're, like, trying to get blackheads out. But they all work the same. They all leave your skin really, really smooth. Now on to moisturizer. So two out of the three products I have here are actually from MAC, and that is something that is crazy to me. If you told me last year that I'd be using two out of three MAC skincare products, I'd be like, bitch, are you crazy? I don't even like their foundation. I feel like my skin had to, like, mature, you know, and then now... I can dig it. I'm gonna start with the non-MAC product. This philosophy is hope in a jar even though it's in a tube. Um, I actually like it a lot better in the tube because I have fake nails. Even though these are my nails, these are the length of my nails, I just have acrylic powder over. Whenever people ask me if they're fake or not, I'm like, no, like these are, this is the length of my nails, maybe not the thickness, but it's the length. It's a little bit harder to scoop it out of a jar and like bacteria and cross-contamination. I love everything about this product. It leaves my skin looking fucking amazing, especially after that toner. The toner kind of neutralizes my skin and then this even and like it just adds like a nice dewy finish but it goes in your skin in like literally like two three minutes it's amazing it leaves it just so plush not dry at all it's perfect for the winter it kind of smells like it smells like a hospital but like a glam hospital but this is MAC Studio Moisture Cream. If I need a little bit more hydrating and my skin is like really, really, really dry, I'll exfoliate and then I'll pile this on. Um, I've had that forever. That's almost done. And then something fairly new to my skincare family is my eye cream. This is MAC Mineralized Charged Water Moisture Eye Cream. It's just like a mini little moisturizer. I think it's so cute. And MAC gives you so much eye cream. Like this is literally like humongous. I'm never going to run out of this. So I'm going to start using more just to get to the bottom of it and then go get a new one. Oh, out of tea. But yeah, I not only like doing these updated skincare videos for you guys, but I like doing them for me too because it's kind of like a milestone in like my skincare world, you know? I could like go back and be like, oh, four months ago I was using that, cute. If you guys made one of these videos recently, definitely feel free to leave it as a video response and I will see you guys in the comments. Until next time, stay gorgeous.